A pleasant greetings to all. In this video, I am going to explain simple ways to solve the problems in signal sand system. See the problem 1. In the graph shown below, which one of the following expresses V of T? Consider this graph. This graph consists of the combination of two signal. This is the ramp signal and this is step signal. What is the step number 1? In the step number 1, find the slope of the ramp signal. What is the slope given? 2 divided by 4 minus 3 that is 1. The slope is the rising slope plus 2. And here what about the slope? 0 slope. And here also 0 slope. Next, I am going to explain how to write the equation for this signal. What is the step number 1? In the step number 1, what are the points the change in signal occurs? That point we need to consider. Here, see the point 3. The slope changes from 0 to plus 2. So here the first point is R of T minus 3. Put one dash. The dash you have to fill the coefficient of R of T minus 3. And next put plus. And see this point. So this is point number 4. Here the slope is changes from plus 2 to 0 slope. That is occur in the point R of T minus 4. Again, see the same point number 4, another one signal also added here. That is unit step signal that is represented as U of T minus 4. Next step number 2, here we are going to find out the coefficient. How to find out the coefficient? Coefficient means final slope minus initial slope. This is for the ramp signal. That is the coefficient of R of T minus 3. Next for a step signal. Here how to find out the coefficient? Final amplitude minus initial amplitude. Okay. Next I am going to fill these values. First R of T minus 3. What is the, what is the initial slope? 0. What is the final slope? That is plus 2. So, 2 minus 0. And next, consider R of t minus 4. What is the initial slope? 2. What is the final slope? 0. So, 0 minus 2. And see, for the unit step signal, the initial amplitude is 2 and the final is 0. So, final minus initial, so 0 minus 2 again. Now I am going to write this 2R of T minus 3 minus 2R of T minus 4 minus 2U of T minus 4. The answers are given in terms of unit step signal. Next, I am going to find out the relation between unit step and unit ramp. How to write R of t? R of t is the unit ramp signal that is written in terms of unit step as t into u of t. For example, R of t minus a that is equal to t minus a u of t. T minus e. In the similar manner, how to write R of 
t minus 3 2 into t minus 3 into q of t minus 3 minus t minus 4 into q of t minus 4 minus it is in u of t minus 4 only. No need to change this. Okay. Then here u of t minus 4 and this also u of t minus 4. So take u of t minus 4 outside. So 2 into t minus 3 into u of t minus 3. Here u of t minus 4 is common. So take it as outside. So inside we are having 2 into t minus 4. Here plus, okay. So next step, 2 into t minus 3. u of t minus 3 minus u of t minus 4 into 2t minus 8 plus 2. What is the next step? 2 into t minus 3 in the u of t minus 3 minus u of t minus 4 into 2t minus 6. Here the first, here second term, 2t minus 6. First term also 2t minus 6. Okay, take 2t minus 6 outside. So inside we are having u of t minus 3 minus u of t minus 4. This answer is the correct answer, but this answer is not given in the option. So option 4 you have to change like this. Next I am going to explain the problem number 2. The Laplace transform of the given figure will be. Here the signal waveform is given. In this waveform also first of all I am going to write the equation related to this waveform. What is the step number 1? What are the points the signal changes occur? So here the point 0, here the signal is changed from 0 to 1. And next point T, here the signal is changed from 1 to 0. Both are unit step signal. So how to write this? U of T. To find out the coefficient, put one dash plus u of t minus t. Okay. And then step number 2. So in the step number 2, we are going to find out the coefficient. How to find out the coefficient? That is final amplitude minus initial amplitude. So for the point 0, that is u of t. What is the final amplitude? That is 1. In initial amplitude is 0. 1 minus 0. And for the second point T, what is the final amplitude? 0. Initial is 1. How to write 0 minus 1? So then the answer is u of t minus u of t minus t. Here I am going to apply the Laplace transformation. What is the Laplace transformation of unit step signal u of t that is equal to 1 by s. Here minus t is delayed by the time t. How we have to represent the delay in Laplace transformation e power minus s t divided by the same is so 1 by s yes minus e power minus s t by x. How to write this? 1 minus e power minus s t divided by x. 
So which one answer is correct? Option C is the correct answer. Next problem number 3. The Laplace transform of the single short tooth pulse as shown in figure. See, this is the ramp signal. Here, what is the step number 1? In what are the points? The signal changes occur. Here, here, 0 point and this is 1. Then here the slope is 0. What about the slope? 1 by 1. It is plus 1 slope. And next again, the slope becomes 0. So this signal we form consists of 2 ramp and 1 step signal. First of all, I am going to write the equation for the ramp. R of t, f of t equal to R of t, then plus, put 1 dash, and put R of t minus 1, delayed by 1, plus minus u of t minus 1. Because this portion, Two signals are combined together. Next, I am going to find out the coefficient. For the first one, how to find out the coefficient? Find a slope minus initial slope. In the similar manner, for the step signal, how to find out the coefficient? Final amplitude minus initial amplitude. Now I am going to write these values for the first. What is the final slope? Final slope is 1. So 1 minus 0 into R of t plus what about R of t minus 1? Initial is plus 1. Final is 0. 0 minus 1 into R of t minus 1 plus what is the final amplitude? The final Amplitude is 0 and initial is 1. Again, 0 minus 1 into u of t minus 1. So, f of t is equal to r of t minus r of t minus 1 minus u of t minus 1. Next, apply the Laplace transformation on the above equation. Laplace transform of f of t is f of s. That is equal to, what about the Laplace transformation of ramp signal? That is L of t. Ramp is 1 by s square. So 1 divided by s square minus your delay signal delayed by minus 1. Ramp signal is delayed by minus 1, e power minus s divided by s square minus e power minus s divided by s because this is the delayed unit step signal. So how to rewrite this? Have to write this 1 by s square and then take e power minus s outside. Inside we are having 1 by s square plus 1 by s. Not option B. Option C is the correct answer. Next problem number 4. The Laplace transform of a given waveform. Here we have to use the step number 1. What is step number 1? In what are the points? The signal changes occur. Here this is the point 0, t and 2t. The three points signal changes occur. All the signals are unit step signal. Okay. So first of all I am going to take this point. So f of t is equal to u of t plus here the signal is changes from amplitude 1 to minus 1. That is u of 
T minus T delayed strip signal and take this point to T. The amplitude is changes from minus 1 to 0. So plus U of T minus 2T. Okay, here I am going to find out the coefficient. How to find out the coefficient? Final amplitude minus initial amplitude. This is the way to find out the coefficient. So for the first one, what is the final amplitude 1? Initial is 0. 1 minus 0 into u of t. Plus, for the second point, what is the initial amplitude 1? What is the final amplitude minus 1? So, minus 1, minus 1 into u of t minus t. Plus, see, for the point 2t, what is the initial value? Minus 1. Final amplitude is 0. So, 0 minus of minus 1 into u of t minus 2t. So, f of t is equal to u of t minus 2 into u of t minus t plus u of t minus 2t. Next, apply the Laplace transformation for this entire equation. So, Laplace transformation of f of t is f of s. What is the Laplace transformation of unit step? That is 1 by s minus. What is the Laplace transformation of delayed step signal? 2 into e power minus s. T divided by S plus what is the Laplace transformation? E power minus S in the 2T divided by S. Okay. Here which one is common? 1 by S. So take it outside. Inside we are having 1 minus 2 into E power minus S T. Plus, can we write like this? 2 e power minus s t the whole square. Okay. So, this total looks like a minus b the whole square. So, how to write this? 1 by s into 1 minus e power minus s t the whole square. So, which answer is correct? The option b is the correct answer. Next problem, match list 1 with list 2 and select the correct answer using the course given below. See the first one. The first one is fully a unit step signal. There is two changes occur for the signal. Two points are u of t minus 1 plus u of T minus 3. See for the signal U of T minus 1, the signal amplitude changes from 0 to 1. So final is 1, initial is 0. For the point 3, the amplitude changes from 1 to 0. So final is 0, initial is 1. So, u of t minus 1 minus u of t minus 3. This is for t. So, a is equal to 3. Okay, next. This is the impulse signal. So, for this impulse signal, how to write this? Delayed impulse signal. Actually, the impulse signal is del of t delayed by 1 unit. So, del of t minus 1. For b, the fourth one is correct. And next consider the c. 
This is also where you will step signal. The point in which the signal changes occur is only one point. That is the advanced signal U of T plus point. How to find out the coefficient? Final amplitude minus initial amplitude. The final amplitude is 1, initial is 0. So 1 minus 0. U of T plus 1 is the correct answer. So C is 1. And next consider the signal B. Signal waveform B. Here, what are the points the signal changes occur? There is 0, 1, 2 and 3 and so on. So how to write this? U of T. Next write the delayed signal U of T minus 1. And next delayed signal U of T minus 2. And next U of T minus 3 and so on. So first U of T. What is the initial amplitude 0? Final is 1. How to represent this? 1 minus 0 in the U of T. And for U of T minus 1, what is the initial amplitude? 1. What is the final amplitude? That is minus 1. How to write this? Minus 1, minus 1. Okay. And then 2. For the 2, the initial amplitude is minus 1. Final amplitude is plus 1. So 1 minus half minus 1. Then again 3. What is the initial amplitude 1? The final amplitude is minus so 1 u of t minus 2 into u of t minus 1 plus 1 minus half minus 1 plus. So 2 into u of t minus 2. Minus 2 in the U of T minus 3. So second option is the correct answer. Next problem. Consider the voltage waveform X of T. What is the step number 1? Already I have explained the previous problems. What are the points the signal changes occur? That points we need to consider. So here the point number 1. The signal is changes from 0 amplitude to 1 amplitude. Point number 2 also. The signal is changed from 0 to 1 amplitude. Point number 3. Changes from 0 to 2 amplitude 1. Point number 4 also. Signal changes from amplitude 1 to 0. So first of all, for the four points, we have to write four equations, four signals. First one, u of t minus 1 plus u of t minus 2 again plus u of t minus 3 again plus u of t minus 4. For u of t minus 1, we are going to find out the coefficient. So to find out the coefficient, you should know the initial amplitude and the final amplitude. For u of t minus 1, initial amplitude is 0, final is 1. So 1 minus 0. For u of t minus 2, Initial is 1, final is 2, 2 minus 1. For u of t minus 3, initial is 2 and final is 1. So 1 minus 2. And for u of t minus 4, initial is 1, final is 0, 0 minus 1. So how to represent x of t? That is equal to u of t minus 1 plus u of t minus 2 minus u of t minus 3 minus u of t minus So option B is the correct answer. u of t minus 1 plus u of t minus 2 minus u of t minus 3 minus u of t minus 4. Next problem. 
consider the following signal. Here, this signal consists of unit gram. There is no unit step signal, but the equation is given in unit step signal. So, first of all, I am going to write the equation in terms of gram. After that, I am going to convert the RAM into unit step signal. Okay, see here, what are the points signal changes occur? The point number 2 and 3. So, first of all, put the slope 0. Here, the slope is 1, 1 divided by 3 minus 2, 1. So, plus 1 is the slope. And next, here point number 3, the slope is changed from 1 to 6. Okay, how to write the equation? X of t is a signal equation. So, first for this one, you have to write R of t minus 2. For this point, again a gram, that is R of t minus 3. And next, I am going to find out. The coefficient of the RAM. To find out the coefficient, you should know the initial slope and the final slope. Okay, here for the point number 2, for this RAM, for point number 2, R of t minus 2, the signal is changed from 0 to plus 1. So, initial slope is 0. Final slope is plus 1, so 1 minus 0. And see, for this RAM, it is changes from 1 to 0. So, final slope is 0 and initial slope is 1. Next, I am going to rewrite the situation. R of t minus 2 minus R of t minus here I am going to rewrite the ramp into unit step, delayed step. What is the relation between ramp and the step? R of t is t into u of t. The ramp is delayed means t minus 2. How to represent this? t minus 2 u of t minus 2. So x of t is equal to how to write R of t minus 2? So, R of t minus 2 is t minus 2 into u of t minus 2 minus how to write R of t minus 3? t minus 3 into u of t minus 3. That's all. This is the answer. So, option B is the correct answer. Thank you. Have a nice day.